Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aguian and here's some of the stories we have for you tonight. A former St. Croix police officer is in jail for murder. A Department of Justice employee is arrested for hiding out one of Virgin Islands most wanted and a warning for all parents before the school year starts. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. story tonight, a former Virgin Islands police officer has been charged with killing a police corporal in Tampa, Florida. News Channel 8's Wes Small has this exclusive story. Here's what happened. A former St. Croix police officer, Umberto Delgado Jr., pictured here, apparently went berserk on Wednesday night. He shot and killed another police officer in Tampa Bay, Florida. The bullet uh, went through actually right to the side of his vest and that poli police officer died sometime later. All right, let's explain exactly what's going on. Uh, when Albert Umberto Delgado Jr. left the Virgin Islands, um, he joined the army um, and that was in 2004 where he lived with his girlfriend near Fort Bragg, uh, North Carolina. Now since then, Unfortunately, Delgado has undergone some very rough times. And as you can see from this picture here, he just does not look like he could have ever been a St. Croix police officer. Uh, well, just the other night, it was actually around Monday or Tuesday that um, Tampa Bay police authorities started to get a hint that something was wrong with Delgado. In one of the parks that is located near a homeless shelter in Tampa Bay, in Tampa, apparently Delgado was pushing a shopping cart and acting suspiciously. He was then warned by a police officer on Monday morning that this would be his last night that he could sleep in this public park. Well, then things just went downhill um, from then. Um, the former St. Croix police officer and also former Army veteran Delgado Jr. on Wednesday night was approached by Tampa Police Corporal 38-year-old Mike Roberts, who is pictured here. He approached Delgado on Wednesday night in that Tampa park, and then they started to struggle. It looks as though Delgado got the better of the officer as the struggle then moved across the street. And that is when Delgado pulled out one of his pistols and pistol whipped Corporal Mike Roberts of the Tampa Police Department. Uh, then when he pistol whipped him, Delgado Jr. pulled the trigger and shot one time, fatally injuring uh, Corporal Roberts. Then as Robert Sargent pulled up as the struggle was uh, just going on, uh, Delgado uh, turned and pulled out an assault rifle, an AR-15, onto the police sergeant. Uh, that is when Delgado ran away as the police uh, sergeant went and checked on his fallen comrade. That is when K-9 was called into the scene. They found uh, Delgado some time later where he surrendered, surrendered without uh, provocation three handguns, including that AR-15 assault rifle. What in the world happened to Delgado Jr., Umberto Delgado Jr., a Crucian, a former Virgin Island police officer as he joined the Army and then just totally lost it? You can see by his picture here uh, that he's undergone some really rough times. There's comments from Anna Ramirez, one of his sisters, who says, this mugshot just does not look like my brother. Here we have one police officer killing another police officer on believable news that we have from one of our own uh, cruisants, one of our own former Virgin Island police officers, Umberto Delgado Jr., now sits in a Tampa jail for killing another police officer in Tampa on Wednesday night. We'll have a follow-up to this story in the future. I'm Wes Small.
for News Channel 8. And in other news, you might remember our Crime Stoppers report from last night as it featured Giovanni Myers. Myers was one of the Virgin Islands most wanted. Well, Myers is now behind bars. And now, a 31-year-old Department of Justice employee has been arrested for helping Giovanni elude the Virgin Islands Police Department. News Channel 8's Lee Carl files this report from St. Thomas. Officials from the Virgin Islands Department of Justice was arrested Wednesday and charged with harboring a fugitive wanted for assault and attempted murder. Actually, the headlines read, uh, someone that was on the most wanted list here had been picked up in St. John. Catherine Connor, 31, an assistant in the office of the Attorney General, was arrested at her Fortuna home by Virgin Islands detectives, along with 26-year-old Joverne Myers. Now, according to the affidavit filed at a superior court, Myers had been sought since last September in connection with the shooting of two people near the Holy Family Church at Anna's Retreat. Police investigator told a superior court magistrate several calls had been received over a period of months saying he had been seen going in and out of Connor's house in Fortuna. The detectives appeared at the woman's home on Tuesday, told her there was a warrant out for Myers' arrest. They searched the premises, did not find the suspect there. Later that evening, another call came in to the police saying Myers had been spotted going into the house. So detectives went back there, along with members of the VI Special Ops Bureau, found Myers there. They were both arrested Wednesday. Connor is now charged with being an accessory after the fact to the charges facing Myers. Myers was charged with first-degree assault, attempted murder, use of an illegal handgun, and reckless endangerment. And they told the court on Wednesday that when the justice official was confronted about the fugitive's presence in her home, she said she knew she was a, that he was a wanted man, but she also said she knew he was hungry and prepared some food for him to take and pick up with him. The 45 caliber Ruger handgun, 14 rounds of ammunition, was taken from the suspect at the time of his arrest. He was also found in possession of marijuana. Public defender Ariel Smith argued there was no probable cause to be found uh, concerning uh, Connor and done nothing to hinder Myers' apprehension. But just because a person came to my house, I gave him a plate of food, doesn't mean I'm subject to half of his punishment. The magistrate, Alan Smith, found probable cause to uphold the charges, set the arraignment hearing for September 3rd. He set the bail for Connor at $20,000, but allowed her to go free an unsecured bond. Before he made his declaration, Smith asked the prosecutor, Douglas Dick, what Connor had done to hinder the apprehension. She knew there was a warrant for his arrest, he said, and still she allowed him to enter the house and fed him. She also pointed to the record of calls to the police about Meyer's presence in and around the house, a record, he said, that exceeded several months. Bail for Meyer set at $100,000, remanded St. Thomas Dale at the time of her arrest, Connor served the Department of Justice as an executive assistant to the Director of Operations of the Attorney General's Office. After hearing the prosecutor has said he had known her for uh, as a co-worker for several years, Dick also said he could not speculate about the why the woman chose to shelter and feed the fugitive. Uh, he said he didn't want to comment on that. The Attorney General did say that uh, they were specifically looking at this matter overall and um, the employee is innocent, just as all others, until proven guilty. In a court of law, however, any citizen who violates the laws of the territory will be prosecuted accordingly, despite any affiliation they have had with any branch of government, so said the I. Attorney General Vincent Fraser. The statement also quoted him as saying his office would pursue the case the same way it pursues all of the cases, although a prosecutor may be brought in from St. Croix. In St. Thomas, Lee Carl for News Channel 8.